Hello all. Before we move to my main video, I made a Take 2 backwards compatible video for the Series X with Far Cry 4 a while back. My original video did not employ the FPS boost that Microsoft just added to a select number of games for now and more to come in the future. Far Cry 4 has been added as of February 17th of 2020. Since most of my videos are pre-recorded and scheduled at different times, I did this when the boost was not available. With that said, you can verify this in the top right corner what type of boosts are being used to improve your game. With first person shooters and with Far Cry 4, I will stick to my original rating with if you played it on the Xbox 360 version, it is highly recommended. But if you own the original Xbox One version, the game was extremely well optimized and played very well. The frame rate boost is nice, especially in combat and some grappling movement, but doesn't improve the experience enough for me, as the still the resolution stays the same as the original with no upgrade. This speaks to the testament on what Ubisoft was able to do with this game that ran at a solid 30 frames per second with no dips. Here is the quick update of a newly released news, and now back to the original video I created. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? But it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. One of the best shooters that depicted the villain as the main reason to play, with their characters being so out of the norm that they become the main attraction. No other game series fits this best but the Far Cry series. With Far Cry 6 and their hopeful release to be slated for the end of April 2021, I wanted to take a look at a game that was optimized so well on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 and see if a Take 2 on backwards compatibility is worth a look. Far Cry 4 was developed and released by Ubisoft in 2014 for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Microsoft Windows. The game met high praise for its optimization for all systems, making the game very, very playable. From the open world design, visuals, and its characters, the game truly felt like a step up on all systems it played on. The environmental and explosive animations were especially spectacular to look at on the PS4, Xbox One consoles, and the PC. All this keeping the game at a solid 30 frames per second as well as close to a native 1080p especially unheard of on the Xbox One. The frame rate shifted from 25 to 30 on the 360 and the PS3 but it is expected as they squeezed every ounce out of those systems at the very end of its life cycle. Unbelievable as it is now but the PS4 and the Xbox One was a rock solid 30 frames per second with little screen tearing, if at all. So, what does the next gen backwards compatibility really offer? In this case, as excited as I was, very, very little to offer. On the Xbox Series X, we have Auto HDR that does a nice job with the upscale also to 4K. 
The load times surprisingly take about a couple seconds to load, but a massive improvement from a minute or more in some areas in last gen. The environment is massive and explains a lot of the continuous gameplay on the game. What's so important in the original release was just one big load time. The 4K upscaling is a bit cleaner, but also shows the age of the game without an update for possible improvement. The game is smooth and doesn't falter at all, but the original was the same way as well. The Xbox One and PS4 was pretty much the answer for their issues with a 20 to 30 frames per second and screen tearing throughout the game. The game still retains a clean visual and great character animations and story that is still very similar to last gen at a locked 30 frames per second with virtually no dips. The visuals do get an update with an auto HDR from the Series X. In this case, it is sometimes a hit or miss, especially if the game never used it before. In this case, I would say it looks good, but especially with the lighting effects already employed in the game already, it just doubles down on that. Being an open world does look nice. Unfortunately, the video captured will not show the HDR effects. The game itself has nice lighting system and the HDR is just highlighting the whites and the darks a bit more. Unfortunately, without an update patch, I realized that unless the game either broken or pushed the tech or console so hard that I left the game barely able to handle it, you are not looking much at an upgrade. If you are only play the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, then yes, this game is a game that you should check out again on the Series X or PlayStation 5. If you have already played the Xbox One and PS4 versions, then no, I would not recommend this game as it is a rock solid in the first place, which proved the developers did a fantastic job on the original release. That's it for me on this take two look back at Far Cry 4. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. You and me, man. New and improved tap bros. That's right, living the dream. Come on, punch it in. Boom! I wear french fries, you stay potato. That's all right. You kind of came in on the slow bus too, but you got there, so I got respect for that. I'm going to see you around though, okay? Okay, let's roll, Golden Path, homie! Woo! Okay, then. Damn.